Friends of a Howard County couple hit and killed by a drunk driver back in March want to make sure a passion of theirs lives on. To help do that, they got some help from golfers. News 18's Kelly Roberts reports how a program helping hungry children will help carry on the Schulte legacy. Well, the sense of community has been absolutely amazing, both in Howard County and out in Seattle. People, friends, family, and strangers have come together since March 25th. On March 25th, while Judy and Dennis Schulte were visiting their son, daughter-in-law, and newborn grandchild in Seattle, Washington, they were hit by a truck and killed. Police say the driver of the pickup truck was drunk. The Howard County couple left behind two children, grandchildren, friends, and a passion for a special program. The Buddy Biggs program has, has been a passion and kind of a quiet passion of both Judy and Dennis. They didn't brag about it. They just got the job done. Kokomo Urban Outreach's Buddy Bag program provides meals for Western School Corporation students who would not usually eat on the weekends. Friends say the Schultes would raise up to $20,000 annually for the program. To make sure Buddy Bags continues, the first ever Schulte Memorial Golf Outing was held at Chippendale Golf Course in Kokomo Saturday. We said 5000 was our goal. And before we collected money for the putting contest or mulligans, and we've got a bunch of silent auction items, we had over 7,000 collected. The day included a round of golf, a silent auction, lunch, and some technology fun with the Eagle Pro. It's a robotic golfer created by Andy Mark Incorporated. This is our way of, of giving, giving to the community, bringing some technology and having some fun out here on a nice day. The Schultes were members of the Rucheville United Methodist Church. They used to round up church members to pack 500 bags a month of food for buddy bags. Now it's up to friends to keep the Schultes buddy bag legacy going. And after the tragedy occurred, this was nothing more than a signal for us to continue this wonderful mission. Organizers say about 150 students get meals from Buddy Bags. To find out how you can donate, visit our website, WLFI.com, and click on this story. Reporting in Kokomo, Kelly Roberts, News 18.